when you're a volunteer, doesn't matter which wave, the idea is that you, it's not that you don't want to gain karma or accumulate a karmic index. You, you basically have the same karmic goal as anyone else. You want good karma and, you know, negative, you know, you want to accumulate the good karma by doing good things and creating good relationships and being positive in a sense. Or being, being as, living with the virtues that you decide for yourself, you know, deciding on virtues that you're going to live by, like honesty, faithfulness, kindness, generosity. These are virtues and you live by them. Okay, so you choose your own and you live by them. In that sense, you're, you're having integrity, okay? And that's important. So as a, as a volunteer, as any person, you want to have virtues and you want to live by them with integrity. Okay, so by doing so, you are accumulating good karma uh, or a positive karmic index. When you have a negative karmic index, meaning that you have accumulated negative karma, or the opposite karma um, in the scale of polarity, based on the dual nature of our reality, our 3D reality, where there's positive, negative has to exist. So in that scale, you've got your positive and then you've got your negative. So the negative stuff would be hurting other people, doing something that does hurt someone else and not repenting, not feeling bad, not having a conscience about it. Especially when you know that it's wrong. A person that doesn't know that what they're doing is wrong cannot be faulted, honestly. It's it's the parent's job or it's, you know, whoever's socializing that person, it's that person's job to teach that person. I mean, you're born with some ability to know right and wrong uh, and you do learn it eventually and you grow into a person who understands what can hurt you can hurt others but at the same time you know that's not what we're really talking about here the point is when you do something that would hurt someone else or when you do something that even hurts yourself if you do something even even laziness or lack of action where it should happen can result in negative karma now people that are volunteers want to come to earth okay you know, chose to come to earth to help with this energy help with the new earth being created help with the crime help with you know just raising the vibration which would reduce all the negative um, side effects of the low vibration and when you're here the problem with the first wave and the second wave is that we were built in such a way that we've never been most of us are you know the idea is that most of us have never been on earth before never been an earth body been light bodies we've lived on other realms, other planets, other dimensions, perhaps. But when you come to Earth and you're a physical body, it's heavy, it's dense, it's it's deep, it's emotional, it's difficult, there's pain involved, you know, it's all these things that we've never experienced. And yes, there's beauty in it. Like, there's things that you experience here that you can't have in other places, and you feel that, that flow state, that the colors that you see in the sky that you can't describe, the music when you feel, when you hear a certain music and, and it reaches you in a way that you can't explain, like if you can feel it change you in the moment. These are beautiful experiences that a person that being a volunteer comes to earth and says, this is a miserable place to be. But then every now and then there's these moments of pure bliss that you have to enjoy. Now, I'm going to go back, I was digressing again, but I'm going to go back to my concept of karma. They say, or you know, Dolores Cannon said that we came here and we want to reduce or minimize our level of karma through not engaging in, in, in relationships, okay, where you have, uh, where you're tethered, okay, to another person. That means like, you can't leave because somebody's depending on you you can't leave and we're not I'm not just talking about like committing suicide nobody's committing suicide this is not an option your 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 soul is given to you your soul as much as it's your soul this life has been given to you by God your soul sure you own that but you don't own 
this body. You don't own this experience. This has been given to you. This has been a gift chosen for you by by our creator, okay? So you don't get to decide, like, I'm leaving. My point is that when you do leave, you leave behind, like, I know this doesn't sound fair, but the karma you leave behind through pain in others can have an effect on your soul. That doesn't mean you shouldn't have friends or loved ones. I mean, you know, that love that that leaves behind, a, you know, the pain, that's okay. That will be healed and love never goes away. But my point is you can't come here and just avoid people. We're here to be around people. We're here to, you know, first wave volunteers have to pave the way and wanted to stay away from people and want to keep themselves free of, 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 of mingling and interaction, but, but you're needed. You come in and think of it like you're the one with the snow plow, you know, after a, a fresh snowfall, you know, uh, of, a, of a three feet of snow, you come in with the snow plow and yeah, it's difficult and it's, it takes a lot out of you, a lot of horsepower, a lot of sweating and, and tears. And, but look at what you leave behind. You leave a clear path for, for the next set of volunteers or for the next even wave of humans that come to the earth and even if they're not a volunteer, they're here to try to, you know, some people are different kinds of light workers that are here to improve the condition of the earth. You can't avoid people. Even myself, as a person who's always identified as social anx socially anxious, I have a twin sister, okay? I'm born a twin. I know, I, I knew, I knew from a young age that I was like this extra soul that was like popped into this body and I was not like my sister and I'm not I'm very unsimilar to a lot of people in my family except for perhaps my dad um, I learned kindness from my mother I learned conversation skills I learned interactions and socializing from her and the importance of friends I learned from my dad the importance of isolation to think and isolation to process you know you, you don't process in front of other people you process alone you you need to go through those things sometimes it is loud sometimes it is you know punching a pillow sometimes it is what it is but my point is you don't get to avoid people so I'm born with a twin okay and she wanted me to be a certain way and she wanted me to go to parties and and go dancing and clubbing and, and I just didn't have it in but I did everything I could to keep her happy my no-no Frank okay my no-no is my uh, grandfather on my dad's side he wanted us to be social way more social than we were he wanted us to come with him to his friend's place and show us off as his you know granddaughters who you know twin granddaughters it's like this big deal to him and you know he wanted us to do tap dancing and and gymnastics and swimming and you know he was very proud of our swimming and very proud of our uh, running and the things we did do that would gain us some kind of recognition or you know ribbons or whatever because you know he came here from Italy to make a better life for his family and to, to, to have more not less right just like you know you come to earth as a soul to have more for your family of humans right so so he wanted us like I could not keep him I don't think I ever ever honored his level of social social nature and I could never and I wish I could have you know I'll live with that he's gone and I can never be what he had wanted me to be and that sucks and then there's other family members on that side who always wanted us to be more involved and more uh, integrated into the family and there's things we didn't attend because we just didn't feel comfortable and there's so much so much times I know I've disappointed people by not being at someone's wedding or oh god canceling last minute I I have ruined relationships and friendships through this this karmic string this lack of ability to reciprocate on a social level but my message to you is as a volunteer you feel this need to be separate. You feel this need to not create karmic um, 
bonds with people, but but it's not a bad thing. These people could be people that you are connected to on a soul level. It could be people that you knew in a past life. It could be someone that you knew in your very first time on, you know, on Earth, if you've been on Earth before. It could be someone you were married to. It could be a child from a past relationship. Uh, it could be anything. It could be any kind of connection that you never thought of. Anyways, long story short, it's not something you're going to avoid. I mean, me even, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a high school teacher and every day I go into work and I do struggle. Oh, I struggle with the, the inner turmoil of, of, of the seeing everyone communicating and talking and laughing. And if I can get myself to do it, I do. But the level of hesitation and lack of desire is, is stifling. Okay, on that note, I just got to work and I better go inside. I hope any of this was helpful to you. I love you.